if you notice, white people tend to be more innovative. They're more creative. They, they have ideas about things. All these other races don't do nothing but destroy. They don't build, but they destroy. He's wrong. I said you'd piss off everybody I was wrong. Now you piss <laughs> off everybody. At some point in the recent past, Dr. Phil McGraw became insanely based. Recent Dr. Phil media appearances offer a clear message. There is a new Dr. Phil in town. He displayed the new wipe on the interview on The View, and he held nothing back when it came to criticizing the agencies that supported COVID-19 lockdowns, particularly in the U.S. school systems. You're not the only voice in your kids' ears, so you have to be the best voice. Mm -hmm. Explain that. Well, think about it. In like 08, 09, smartphones came on and and kids started they stopped living their lives and started watching people live their lives mm. and so we saw the biggest spike and the highest levels of depression anxiety loneliness and suicidality since records have ever been kept mm. and it's just continued on and on and on and then mm. COVID hits 10 years later and the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. Mm -hmm. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these children? Who takes them away and shuts it down? And by the way, when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers with no way to watch, and referrals dropped 50 to 60 percent. So, there was also a yeah. pandemic yeah, going was, on, they were trying to save kids' lives. They were trying lives, to save so kids' well. lives. Remember, we know a lot of folks who died during this. So the, it wasn't, people weren't laying uh, around eating children. bond, but, well, you know what? We're lucky. Maybe we're lucky they didn't, because we kept them out of the, the, the places that they could be, be sick, because no one wanted to believe we had an issue. Are you saying no school children died of COVID? I'm saying it was the safest group they were the less vulnerable group, and they suffered and will suffer more from the mismanagement of COVID than they will from the exposure to COVID. And that's not an opinion, that's a fact. And clearly, the hosts of The View didn't really like to hear the revolting truth. However, it seems to be Dr. Phil's new beat. How did this, if it, this is so contrary to the way most people feel, what do you think is behind it, especially the push towards children, affirming children? Do you think it's because there's people that are queer or LBGT, whatever, and they want other people to be a part of their, their group? Is it they want more LBGT people? They want to encourage this behavior? They think it's suppressed and maybe there's more people that are gay or whatever and they want to come out and they just get suppressed by it. So they're trying to make it like more enthusiastic. Like how is, how is this trans thing? becoming a major point of debate with children where it never has in history. In your life, in my life, there was never all this talk about trans children. Like this, it seems insane that we've forgotten that kids don't know what the is going on yet. I think a lot of it is owing to social media platforms and the internet. I, I think um, this is what I'm talking about when I say the activist, I don't think speak for the community at large. I think they get an agenda that they're pushing and i think they really get wrapped up in this and it gets a lot of oxygen on the internet it gets a lot of oxygen on social media platform now they say there's no social contagion here but the girls that are claiming to be transgender that percentage has gone up some reports say it's gone up eight hundred percent a thousand percent over the last several years and they say well that's because they feel more comfortable talking about it now. I think there is a social contagion effect. So people jump on the bandwagon, and if it's for a short period of time, but they've done things that can't be reversed, I think that's really tragic. So from the woke moments to absolutely based opinions, I have a lot of respect to Dr. Phil for speaking out the truth.